Beliefs and Values Belief is something believed, a conviction or opinion. The state of mind in which a person thinks something to be true with or without empirical evidence to prove the truth with factual certainty. It is a mental representation of a positive attitude towards something that is supposed to be true. Something you can accept, be confident about, have faith in, and put trust in. Value is the worth of something in terms of the amount for which it can be exchanged, or in terms of some medium of exchange. The equivalent worth or return in material, money, service, etc. In ethics, value is the degree of importance of an action or something, or to describe the significance of different actions. Normative ethics aims to determine what action has an advantage or what path is suitable to live. Treating action as an abstract object, and then put a value on it. It refers to having the right conduct for living a good life, in the sense that a high or highly valuable action could be regarded as ethically good. Or to have the wrong conduct for living a bad life, in the sense that a low or lower invaluable action could be regarded as ethically wrong. Ethical values make an action valuable depending on the object it alters, decreases, or increases. The ethical value of an object may be in terms of ethical or philosophical. Concerning appropriate courses of action or outcomes, the value can be defined as broad preferences. Values reflect a person's sense of right and wrong, or what ought to be. Representatives of values such as excellence deserve admiration, equal rights, dignity, and respect. These types of values such as aesthetic, doctrinal-slash-ideological, political, religious, ethical-slash-moral, and social tend to influence people's attitudes and behavior. Some values are debatable such as acquisitiveness, altruism, and intrinsic, and whether they should be classified as vices or virtues, due to unclear physiological determinations. Understanding Beliefs and Values A lot of evidence suggests that human motivation influence what is believed to be true. Sure, controversy does surround beliefs and values, but they are central to human functioning. There are two types of beliefs and values, perceptual types as well as language-based, and both play out in the social arena. For instance, an experience is a perception of an action or event, and it can never be shared directly. Language-based beliefs can be shared directly if the person is inclined. Beliefs and values are equitable, rational, and sustainable, but unconsciously they can become a self-serving subject that can form power struggles. Because we are taught in church, home, and school that our beliefs and values justify active and passive states. Understanding your beliefs and values in an approachable and significant way can lessen the need for power struggles. Explicit language-based beliefs and values are considered to be a justification system because it is functionally organized into a system of justification, that determines what is and what isn't justifiable. When activating justification with legit meaning, belief value allows you to emphasize how they are functionally beneficial and organized. Justification has two fundamental issues, the first comes from the word is. It refers to the issue of what is justifiably factual. And whether the claim under consideration qualifies to be accurate, valid, or not. The second comes from the word ought. Ought to refer to what course of action one should be guided by given a set of circumstances, and then valued. In terms of logic, issues with is and ought are conceptually separable, but they are deeply connected in human thought. These two elements are often used to get clarity, to separate what is actual from what ought or wish to be true. Justification systems exist both at individual and group levels, such as views about men and women, husbands, and wives. Gender roles are the scripts that frame and legitimize actions and ways of being for males and females in a culture. Justification systems arise out different domains of justification, within dialogical processes such as an argument, debate, rhetoric, social exchange, and reason giving between individuals. Therefore, the content and strength of justifications will vary as a function of audience and dynamic social influence, as to who has interest aligned or power. Ethical Values Ethical culture is a movement that was founded in 1876 by Flex Adler. Flex was an educator, reformer, and writer that lived in the U.S. The ethical culture stresses the importance of ethical behavior independent of religious beliefs. In this generation, many people have deviated from awareness of the importance of ethical behavior. Sure, I get it, people are tired of stereotype behavior that comes with ethical norm judging. However, this generation engages in undermining the theories of founding fathers on various levels, resulting in mass incarceration rates. It appears that senseless individuals rather commit crimes than have values to live by. Senselessness is the result of unacknowledged or unrecognized information, it is things that parents aren't sharing with their youth. If you don't know about the importance of values, it is impossible to feel valued. Generally, if you have deviated from ethical values, you need to start fixing things with an open heart to change your perceptions of living the good life. Ethical values enable you to live a rewarding and useful life, and sure there will be challenges to face. Ethical pertains to morals, basically the principles of morality. Value is relative to importance, merit, and worth. It is the worth of something in terms of the number of other things for which it can be exchanged. You can't believe going out committing crimes helps to build self-worth because it doesn't. 
of which makes a person senseless, illiterate, insane, and unprofitable. Manifested ethical characteristics and values help to become a profitable person. This is not a political issue, it is a human race issue. Below are 12 ethical principles that cannot be ignored, these principles everyone ought to know. 12 Ethical Principle Values 1. Accountability, accept personal accountability for your ethical quality of decisions and omissions to the communities, family, friends, and yourself. 2. Commitment to excellence, pursue excellence in performing your duties, and be well informed and prepared, and constantly endeavor to increase proficiency in all areas of responsibility. 3. Concern for others, be caring, compassionate, benevolent, and kind, honor the golden rule, help those in need. Seek to accomplish business objectives in a manner that causes the greatest positive good and least harm. 4. Fairness, be fair and just in all dealings, do not exercise power arbitrarily. Do not use overreaching, indecent means to gain or maintain an advantage. And do not take undue advantage of another person's difficulties or mistakes. Fair persons manifest a commitment to justice, the equal treatment of individuals, tolerance for and acceptance of diversity, so be open-minded. Willing to admit your wrong and appropriately change your beliefs and positions in life. 5. Honesty, be honest and truthful in all your dealings and do not deliberately deceive or mislead others by misrepresentation, overstatement, partial truth, selective omission, or any other means. 6. Integrity, demonstrate personal integrity and the courage of your convictions by doing what you think is right even when there is pressure to do otherwise. Be honorable, principled, and upright, and willing to fight for your beliefs. Do not sacrifice principle for expediency, be hypocritical and unscrupulous. 7. Law-abiding, abide by laws, rules, and regulations relating to citizens' activities and rights. 8. Leadership, be conscious of the opportunities and responsibilities of your position of leadership. Seek to be a positive ethical role model by your conduct, and help to create an environment in which ethical decision-making and principle reasoning are highly prized. 9. Loyalty, be worthy of trust, demonstrate fidelity and loyalty to persons and institutions by friendship in which diversity and devotion to duty are supported. Do not use or disclose information learned in confidence for personal advantage. Safeguard the ability to make independent professional judgments by scrupulously avoiding undue conflicts of interest and influences. Be loyal to your community, country, family, and friends. If you decide to accept other positions in life, provide reasonable notice, respect the proprietary information of your former positions. Refuse to engage in any activities that take undue advantage of others' previous positions. 10. Promise keeping and trustworthiness, be worthy of trust. Be candid and forthcoming in supplying correcting misapprehensions and relevant information of fact. Make every reasonable effort to fulfill the letter and spirit of your commitments and promises. Do not interpret agreements in an unreasonably legalistic or technical manner. Do not rationalize to create justifications or non-compliance for escaping your commitments. 11. Reputation and morale, seek to build and protect the family's reputation and the morale of its friends by engaging in no conduct that might undermine respect. Take whatever actions are necessary to correct or prevent inappropriate conduct of others. 12. Respect for others, demonstrate respect for the autonomy, human dignity, interests, privacy, and rights of all those who have a stake in their own decisions. Be courteous and treat all people with equal dignity and respect regardless of national origin, sub-race, or sex. Christian, family, and religious values. Christian values are derived from the teachings of Jesus Christ and Paul and are taught by Christians throughout religion. The term Christian values helped form the Christian identity in politics, schools, and other denominations throughout the world. Family values are derived from the teachings of Jesus and ancestral values, and family values refer to cultural and traditional values that continually help build a firm foundation for the family's structure. Other normative ethic values pertain to attitudes, beliefs, functions, ideas, and roles of the family. Christian and family values are often used as a euphemism for familial by the Christian right. According to social sciences and U.S. political, a traditional family refers to a nuclear family, where there is a child-rearing environment composed of a breadwinning father, a homemaking mother, and their biological children. The nuclear family was common before the 1970s, and this type of family was referred to as a model of the norm by sociologists. And a family that deviated from the norm model is considered a non-traditional family. Nowadays the nuclear family has evolved into the extended family model and still is considered a non-traditional family. Religious values are derived from Christian and family values, and religious values are ethical principles founded in historical beliefs, texts, and traditions of the Jewish Bible especially re-edited versions. Personal values, generally derive from religious-based values which are based on scripture and a religion's established norms. All of which is about human society. Personal growth with ethical values. Ethical values form your foundation for life, and help form dignity and respect for others and self. They help determine the choices made and directions taken, 
and help influence the decisions related to activities, career, and relationships that you engage in. The values that you have internalized as a child generally remain with you throughout adulthood. Yet still many people reject the values of their upbringings, to adopt values of the dominant society, instead of choosing ethical values. Some people may have already compromised their dignity by deviating from the norm model to form a non-traditional family. But unfortunately, these values may have also carried you down a path in the direction you didn't want to go, all while ruling out dignity for the pride of dirty deeds. Everyone shields pride with temporary euphoria, when things aren't going in the right direction that was intended. But it takes someone unwilling to compromise the foundation that they are building, to overcome the tendencies of pride with euphoria. Keep in mind that euphoria in psychological terms is a temporary feeling of confidence, happiness, or well-being that often gets exaggerated in pathological states as mania. People rely on temporary euphoria, to pretend things are okay but this too is a form of compromise. Building a foundation with a lifetime partner has huge benefits, than performing dirty deeds as a single person eternally. Because there is someone to help you work things out, you don't have to build the foundation of life alone. However, you must keep in mind this norm model can still bring about certainty after deviating, as long as you stay true to ethical values. Don't get fully lost in other illusions of what life's expectations are supposed to be if you are a single person a strong foundation can still be planned. Personal growth is about you and what you desire out of life with the need for dignity. You can repair career and relationships with personal growth because personal growth is formed through the progress made. Are you living life in abundance with ethical values, or in abundance of pride without dignity? Deconstructing your core values. Fulfilled people tend to have life-affirming values or in early adulthood, they may have modified and re-evaluated their values due to a crisis of conscience. But most people never question their values and buy into them early in life, to create a life around those values. Worst case scenario, the values that you grew up with weren't all unhealthy and some of their present value hasn't changed since childhood. Look deeply, honestly, and openly at the way you were raised because one of the first steps is identifying your values. To understand what values, you possess and live by, deconstruct them until you are clear about the exact values you hold and why you hold those values. The next step is deconstructing your present life and the values that your life reflects. After deconstructing your life to get an idea of what your core values are, then you can see the values of which you have created in your present life. You can now see whether those values contribute to bringing you dissatisfaction or happiness. Determine which elements contribute to your unhappiness in career, lifestyle, marriage, etc., and then ask yourself what values reflect those parts the most. Rule out what to keep and must go, and then better prepare yourself according to the prominent qualities.